A time when a caregiver should alert for immediate medical attention is if a child has a prolonged fever, if you're noticing a temperature change, whether the child's skin feels overly cold or overly hot. If you see a change in mental status, meaning a child's speech is, is starting to slur or you see a child not responding when, when before they were responding. A breathing change, their pattern of breathing is either very fast or very slow or a pulse change, meaning the child is alert and interactive in one minute and then the next minute they're down on the ground, eyes closed and, and not as responsive. Those are all times for immediate um, attention from a physician or a, a medical provider. Other important times to seek medical advice are if there's continuous prolonged episodes of coughing, congestion, vomiting, diarrhea, urinary changes, um, skin changes, those are times to seek medical attention. Or if you're seeing signs of stunting, meaning a child is not growing the way you thought a child their age should be growing, poor nutrition, now sometimes that can present as their bones may be shaped a little differently, their skin texture may look different, they may have hair loss, their skin is pale. Those are reasons, again, to seek for medical attention because they may indicate anemia or iron or vitamin deficiencies. Other times it's extremely important to seek medical attention if you're seeing a regression of milestones. Again, if a child was speaking and now they are not, if they are withdrawn, um, or if you are concerned that the child is at risk for physical, sexual, or emotional abuse, it's very important to seek immediate medical attention. So when looking for unusual patterns in child um, or in a child, it's important to remember that every child is an individual. So seeking opinions from their caregivers or friends or family members might be important. Was this child doing this before or how long has this child been doing it? Keeping in mind also that children are not little adults. So what might be normal for an adult might not be normal for a child. And then being a close attention to how was the child's behavior and physical and mental state prior to noticing this change. Was this child always healthy? Was, For example, was this child coughing for many months? Or is this a new change that you've noticed over the last week? Was this child always withdrawn or shy? Or have you noticed this child going from being a very interactive and social child to a more withdrawn and closed off child? So these are all examples um, as, and we'll continue to kind of get into a little bit more about reasons to send a child to seek medical attention, but paying very close attention to those unusual changes um, will help us seek um, appropriate attention sooner.